Many of you have purchased your My Digi die solely for the uh, automatic print and cut feature. In order to get an accurate print and cut project completed, you need to be able to calibrate uh, your My Digi die and your printer. You'll only have to do this once, and here are the instructions on how to do it. The easiest shape to work with is a square, so I've drawn a square on my page. Once I've drawn it, I need to go up to Cutter, Preview, to ensure that my registration marks and my shape or my square are towards the centre of the page. Uh, if you have your uh, design set too far to one side and the registration marks are close to the edge of your paper, you may find that the optical eye gets confused as to where uh, what's a registration mark and what's the edge of the page. Once you're happy with where uh, your project is sitting, click on Cut. Uh, here are all your settings here, so Curve, WYSIWYG, and you'll see the word Print and Cut. So I'm going to select Print and Cut, and you'll see the word Print. Click on Print. Please make sure that the Print Registration Marks box has been ticked. I'm not going to proceed because I have already printed my uh, square out. Once I've uh, printed it out, what I need to do is put the printed page onto the mat and you need to ensure that you set up your brushes which are here inside the first registration mark. So I'm going to bring the plotter head across just a little bit. That'll do. And now I'm holding my shift key because I need to just feed the mat down just a little bit. And I'm going to say that that's okay. So my brushes are sitting just inside the first registration mark. Once I'm happy with where the brushes are sitting on the screen, I'm going to select Next and I'm going to select Start Scan. You'll see the DigiDye Optical Eye will start scanning the registration marks. If the scan fails, your software will tell you that it's failed and you need to do the process again. If you're a Mac user, please make sure that you have the latest driver installed. OK, the, the scan has been successful, so I'm going to press OK and the word Start Scan will change to Cut. I'm going to click on Cut. Now, you can see that my cut line is different to my print line and this is where the calibration comes into effect. So the first uh, line that we're going to look at is the bottom line because it's cut above the printed line so we need to print uh, to cut that line or bring that line down. So that is the X um, tangent. So I'm going to on my display here I'm going to press menu and keep pressing until you get to offset and then it will change to X Y. Now yours may say X plus or X minus and the other one may say Y plus or my, Y minus. It really doesn't matter but what we're going to do now to bring that cut line down which is the vertical axis we need to modify these figures to bring it down. So to bring the line down we need to input a negative number. So I'm going to, it's about 3 mil, so I'm going to, whilst holding my shift button, I'm going to change this number to 3. And hopefully that will be uh, okay. Once I'm happy with it, I'm going to press menu again so that we're back online. I'm also going to reposition my brushes again so that I can run the whole process again. That will do. And now going back to the screen, I now need to run the process again. So I'm going to print and cut, next, scan, and it will scan them again. and the scan has been successful so I'll press OK and cut 
and we can see now that my cut line and my print line are almost identical. So we've now fixed the x-axis. It may pay you to write that figure down. Once you're happy that the cut line and the print line are the same, write the figure down somewhere safe. Now we're going to have a look at the x, uh, the y-axis, I beg your pardon, which is the horizontal. Now again, go to Menu, Offset, and it will change to Y. Now remember, it could be Y plus or Y minus. And again, I need to change it about maybe three mil thereabouts. And this time, I need to add. Oops, sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Okay. So I'm going to add, and I'm going to take it up to about 29.5. Okay, once I've got it there and I'm happy, I can then press Menu again. So in my case, I now need to shift my cut line to the left so that it matches the printed line. So to shift it to the left, I need to add to Y. So once I'm online again, go through the same process again, shifting my brushes so that they fall just inside the registration mark, click on cut, print and cut, next, start scan, So the scan has been successful, so I'll press OK and cut. And with a bit of luck, so to make it easy, you need to make a note of on your X axis, which is the vertical axis, subtracting from X moves the cut line down. Adding to X moves the cut line up. And for the Y axis, axis sorry, in order to move your cut line to the left, you need to add to Y. And to move it to the right, you need to subtract from Y. Hopefully, this will make it a little bit easier for you to create perfect print and cuts. If you are confused, please give me a call.